Crafty Peeps, it's Angel Holt with Angel Holt Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to alter a canvas, but it's going to be using a medium that's been out there for years. Um, and I want to revisit this medium, and this medium is Melt Arts Beeswax. Um, this is a natural uh, beeswax product from Ranger, and I have some already melted here in my melting pot. And I'm going to create a 5 by 5 canvas um, using beeswax. And I've pulled out all kinds of stuff here that um, I think I might use. And um, what this is, basically wax is used to decoupage elements onto canvases or tags or whatever. And um, it is a really fun medium to work with. Um, very different. Um, it can get messy, but you know you can just you can clean it up with your heat gun or whatever. But um, I'm going to show you how you can apply it. You can apply it using a knife, like spreading it like um, like ice. In. You can also use the melt art. Um, tool here to help you spread it as well which is probably what I'm going to be using um, and I pulled out a vintage photo this can be found on my Pinterest board um, and I sized it down to fit onto the canvas here I've also pulled out some different elements um, some stains from Tim Holtz a flower um, a few old stamps that I had that I thought would be pretty to use I also pulled out some film strip from Tim Holtz from years ago. Don't know if I'll use it, but I just pulled it out. Um, pulled out some embellishments here. A piece of a uh, paper, old paper bag. Um, this is some stuff from, uh, oh, what's that company? Stampin' Up, I think. Um, some crinkle paper. This is some, um, like, decorative rocks that you can find in a floral section um, to put onto there. Uh, some chipboard, again, some more Tim Holtz pieces, maybe. Um, some corrugated uh, paper from Canvas Corp. And some vintage paper from my paper stack that I always love to pull from, um, the Keller uh, Kirk's collection that I got at Hobby Lobby. So, what you're going to see in... Uh, fast pace is me creating uh, this canvas and using the wax as my glue okay so and um, I will stop and come in and explain when I need to and everything but um, I want you to enjoy the process and watch how it all comes together I'm going to be working on a a towel here that I got at Home Depot, Lowe's, and uh, so that it's easier for me to clean up instead of getting it all over my desk. I can just scrape it all back off into um, here. And uh, what you do is the trick of cleaning this up is once you're done with your wax, you pour it on a non-stick surface, let it dry, break it up, and put it back in your container because you can always reuse it unless you use it all. So, um, again, I'm just going to start putting things together and putting it on here. And, uh, again, I will pop back in and uh, explain the steps I've done if necessary, but just sit back and enjoy. I'm going to fix my camera where you can see me a little bit better. There we go. So, let's get started.
Now, you saw me use the wax to apply um, the background pieces here. And you're also going to see me, uh, I dipped the paper in the wax. Now you can do that to give the piece of paper um, a vintage look, a, a vintage style. All you do is just dip it into your pot and pull it out. Um, now I am going to be using my hot glue gun to glue some things down. Um, I'm not going to use uh, my wax for all of it. And as you saw here, um, you saw me uh, like pour the wax onto the canvas and then I patted it up. You can also reheat the wax with the heat gun as I showed, demonstrated as well. And uh, throughout here, you're going to see me clean up a little bit, you know, just pulling the wax off of here. And uh, that's why I work on this because it will get messy. Um, I'm going to start putting, you know, some metal pieces on here, like this, um, and start putting on, um, I've got this flower here. I was thinking about using this frame, and I think I'm going to, and I'm going to apply it on there, but I'm going to stain it with some, uh, Tim Holtz ink here. It's a wood frame from Wajinka in Poland. It's called Blueberry Swirls. And um, what I'm going to do here is take some vintage photo stain and just stain it. And then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to add some uh, antique gold. Gilder's paste on it to give it a, um, a gilded look. See, that's going to look good. Now I see where I missed spots. Boop, doop, doo -doo, doo. But working with wax is really fun. I mean, it's a different medium. Definitely something to try and, um, you know, work with, and I'm going to go get that wax. Definitely, uh, I liked it. I liked it when it first came out, and I like it now, so... All right. I'm just rubbing on some Gilder Paste Antique Gold. Oh yeah, see, it looks burnt, kind of, I like that, I like that a lot, but before I put this on, I'm going to put a 
I'm going to work on some more of the background here. And you can do that by applying more um, now you can apply it to the paper or you can apply it to the area in which you want to cover and then go back in like this and remember you can heat gun it to help spread it and I'll show you see there you go Now I'm going to get out my glossy accents and uh, stuff and going to continue um, the process of adding um, different layers here. You know, so. Do it like that. And there you go. Again, you can just plop it on there like that, or you can use the heat gun to spread it around. like that. I love this stuff. It's just so fun to work with. A piece right there. Like so. Lay it down. And work it out like that and if you get too much on there you can take a back of a knife and scrape some of it off like this and of course put it back in your your pot so you can reuse it you know so all right well I'm going to um, the video is going to speed up again. I'm just going to clip this off. And um, then we'll finish the process. Now, I am doing the edges of the frame, but I'm not going to do the back. Give me my phone. So, it's looking good. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so I'm going to get my glossy accents and start playing. So, be right back.
Okay, the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this word beautiful onto a piece of paper. This is a, a new Prima um, stamp thing, Majigger, and it helps me with uh, because I have dexterity problems, and it's really awesome. I like it. Okay. Stamp the word beautiful. These are some old stamps that I've had for years that I've lost the packaging for. <sighs> okay, now what I'm going to do is just make sure this is set because I'm going to stain it with some vintage photo. like that, dry it, okay, and now I'm going to carefully rip it out here. Now I might not use this and then again I might. I don't know. Okay. Looks good to me. And now I'm going to ink the edges with the same. Then I'll add a little antique gold. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm just going to apply it with some hot glue. Like so. And there you have it, ladies. Isn't that fun? Love it. Love, love, love it. And you can set it on an easel or you can add a hanging mechanism. And as you see, I covered the sides and everything. And I think it turned out wonderful. Stay for photos. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I used in this tutorial, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Like always, please share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Share this video. The more you share, the better. Um, and let all your crafty peeps know about all the wonderful tutorials I share with y'all and teach you different uh, things and different ways you can use products and stuff. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for being fans of my work. Um, I am truly, truly, truly blessed. 
and thank you thank you so much and um, I hope this is another tutorial to get you to try a different medium that's been out for years and that you were afraid to try <laughs> so um, again let me know if you have any questions and until next time ladies I'll see you then bye bye